Hello everyone, it's Ricardo. Hope you're doing okay today. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday indeed. <clears throat> okay then, what are we going to be doing today? Well, you guessed it. <laughs> you guessed it, alright. It's going to be... It's going to be Guardian, Guardianness. Uh, and I've jumped... To the Sanufi system, or whatever we are, what we're going to call it. That's what I've jumped to. And we're going to do some Guardian Relic collecting today, and Guardian Artifact collecting. So, all good stuff for us. Right, let's get this show on the road. Yes, and we're in. We're back. So, oh, so actually, oh, seven. Oh, seven, Simon, Stormlinks. Jit. Oh, seven. Okay. This is what we're going to be doing. So, if we're having a good day today, all good stuff. Into the ship, I've got my Guardian Challenger. Little ship I've sorted out for these sort of engagements. Mordrin. Big 07 to you. There it is. Marvel at its yellow magnificence. This is the ship we're going to be using. What a week, eh? What a week. Let's get on board. And... Let's see what we got. Now, these ships aren't particularly what you call fantastic for things, right? But they're okay. I've got Seeker Missile Racks, Missile Racks, what have you on you. Um, point Defense, going to need those for the Guardian Sentinels and the missiles. Usual stuff. i got a Guardian Hybrid Power Plant, and why not? Why not? Right? Why not? Uh, and away we go. Um, we've got, and the optional internals, bit of shields, because you need shields. I've got a cargo rack, and I've got a planetary vehicle hangar. Now, because this is typically a military ship, you've got these military compartments. No use to man nor beast here, but I dare say we might have a new Guardian slash military module to go in here once all Ramtar's done his stuff. Got to collect a limpet as well, just in case. Uh, there you go. Yes, so, update 18 does sound like it's going to be a little bit of a blast. Um, sounds like it is going to be interesting. Taking the war to the Thargoids, perhaps. What do we all think about that? I think that could be good. 
because it's been a bit one-sided up to now, isn't it? Um, be interesting to see what Frontier... What Frontier say about all this. Nice picture of the interior of the ship. It was nice with the yellow, that sort of like purpley YouTubery background that he's got going on here. Look, doesn't look so bad, does it? I mean, there's an update that's being applied, I think, Monday. Um, I don't know what they're going to call that update, to be honest. 17.02, perhaps. We, we really haven't been told. Um, so we really are going to have to see. Uh, right then. So let's turn um, fleety carriers off so we can see what we're doing. Ancient ruins. That's us. Lock that destination in. Into our fire groups. What have we got? We've got one of those. And then we'll just have that. That and that. And then we'll have a collector limpet. We'll have a... we got our discovery scanners. Um, yeah, brilliant. Everything's fine. Surface scanner. We'll have that over there. Data link scanner. I think that's it. I think we got everything set now. Right, let's get to the ancient ruins then. Planet 1BA. Jit Sony. No, I'm playing in my private group, Jip. I'm not playing in open. Well, it might be Meteor. We don't know. I mean, whatever's coming on... Um, whatever's coming on Monday, I think it's just that. Stability and not fixes. Is that update 18? Don't know. They haven't really been clear, have they? What have you read? Because they haven't actually said anything. When, when is update 18 coming? Yes, it's a server patch Monday. Stability. And then they've still been a little bit, you know, quiet, haven't they? On, on update 18. I think we're alluding to the fact that it could be good. And I dare say it will be. I mean, the, the recent patches have been really good. Ah, I see. Well, sure, I think it could be good, Sign. I think it really could be good. Right, let's get over here then. Do some stuff. Let's move some of this rubbish out the way. Absolute computer problem nightmares. I've had, I've had, not personal computer problem nightmares, work computer problem nightmares. My dock blew up, then my headset blew up. Well, it wasn't like big puff of smoke and flames, but like, you know, it was then developed faults. Utterly crazy. So that's been a right trial this week. Um, and to be fair, did a little bit of Star Trek online. That was good. And next week, Stargate Timekeepers is going to be released. I've had a go of it. It's hard. Very sort of stealthy, stealthy missions. Very good. Very time absorbing. Um, hard. That's what I will say. Coolest thing ever added to the game. Perhaps that zombies. Could be, couldn't it? It's a couple of narratives that could be going. It could be... Well, we just don't know. It's sheer speculation, isn't it? Sheer speculation is what it is.
It could be. I hope it's not any... Well, I wouldn't say weak. But, like, things we need, right? We need point defense against Banshee missiles. We need... Something to combat the caustic damage. We've got the caustic sink. I think we need something else. I don't think they're going to give us anything that's going to help us repel the Titans. I don't think they are. Because I reckon they're in game. They're a big game asset. They're going to be around for a while. Skybird UK. Exactly. Right. Do you know what? What could possibly go wrong? Dumping all that tech in one place. And look what happened the last time they had all that tech in one place. Oh, it's going to be Thargoid related, isn't it? It's whether or not they start to merge the two storylines. And they might well do. This, this whole narrative we've got going on now with the ancient ruins and unclassified artifacts and guardian relics and all that sort of stuff. Is this what we saw a couple of months ago. I forget who it was. Might have been Ramtar then, right? Ramtar or the other one. Turned around and said, <clears throat> well, commanders, what we need is meta alloys. So we all went out. Well, I didn't. A lot of people went out and went, right. Um, here's the meta alloys. And then... Literally two weeks later, they went, Ah, now supply a hundred meta alloys to get this module. Do you know what I mean? I got a sneaky suspicion it's a bit like that. Constructs. Constructs could be a thing. They could be a thing. They really could be. Okay. They're going to let me land. It's, it's going to be one of these silly things now where I'm not going to be able to land anywhere near, am I? Here we go. Get down. Right, so where are we? It's all dark, Jim. Jim, it's all dark. You can't see it. You can't see a scooby in thing. Apart from my lights. So, okay. Deploy the car. Narco, 07. So I suppose there's going to be a couple of ways of doing this. Traditional. And by that, I mean wombling around in your SRV like this, um, waiting for relics to pop up. Right? And then scanning data. Because there's going to be data to be scanned, right? Of course there is. Um, Though typically it looks like not here. So we're gonna have to have a good a good sort of like drive around. You know? Um or I do a lot of the pre-work. And pick them all up with limpets. Which could be easier. Here we go. This is the stuff we're after, everybody. An ancient relic. Ooh, we've marveled at these for ages. Well, I'm a little bit earlier this time. I did a lot of stuff with the kids this morning. Took them out for something to eat. You know, got to reward good grades, you see. And uh, come back, and I thought, well... Time to get some stuff on. The ancient relic in the ground by here. Here comes the eruption. Let's 
get a little bit closer. Here he is. Damn it. That's really going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? It's, it's... There's always one, isn't there? See if we can cheese it. I got it. <sighs> but I think we're going to have to do the old Elite Dangerous Shuffle here. You know what I mean? Have I seen the SRV survey app yet? No, I haven't. But my my plan is to put a few in with Ramta and then um, kind of like jog on. Like where things are. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it. There's loads of fantastic apps around it. I'll have to have a look at that. Are you gonna have anything up here? I don't know. I think if there was gonna be something, it would be up here on top of this knobbly bit, on top of this hillock, and it. You know? But a big old, big old base, this. Let's wait for it to fully extend first. So I thought I'd do Guardian stuff today, and then tomorrow we'll do some of the conversion into um, unclassified relics. I don't think I'm going to be the I'm going to be the sort of guy who's going to be like, well, okay, well, you know, here's 500 relics. I don't think that's going to be that's going to be viable. I'm sure some commanders will. I don't think that's going to be me. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't know what it is with these bases. I always get the impression of like this should be have been like some sort of aqueduct. There should have been water here. Strange, isn't it? Hey Mike, how's it going? so bad we got four so far I, mean, I could just sit there log out log back in pick up four couldn't I but you know where, where, where's the fun in that never gonna happen was it through this way can, can we can we sneak it through oh we can right okay let's get to the ship there's loads of opportunity for data over there there you go massive sort of pillars or obelisks your launcher is an opening on steam What have we got? We got one there, two there. Who knows what will be coming? It's might be worthwhile getting some of this data.
giving it a bit of a scanning. What it's all about, isn't it? Got all of that, whatever that was. Um, Yeah, I do have an awful lot of the data. I went I went round and, and did a lot the last time we were all found ourselves round by the Guardian site. Let's go and uh Can I bring the ship a bit closer? Ship dismissed. Dunno. We'll find out, won't we? There it goes. We tried the validate files on Steam. That might be semi. Ship recalled. That could be it. That could be um that could be the problem, couldn't it? But if it's the launcher. Hmm. Interesting. Right, where's this ship then? Here he is. Let's well, come down a little bit closer, I suppose. But to be fair, it probably just parked itself exactly where it was the last time. Come on. I'm stuck in a ditch. No, ditch stuck. I have to do some evil Knievel stuff now, ain't I? There's been a, a slew of Windows updates recently as well, though, Mike. Um, that might have screwed something up. Ugh. There you go. We have transferred to the ship. Let's get on our merry way. Us all the way over here. Bound to be stuff over here. Perhaps not. Perhaps you've gone a little bit too far. But there's the beacon over there. Ancient ruins beacon. Let's go up and see that. A bronzite cause like ooh, we'll have some of this. Always an opportunity to do some do some mining. Pick up some material. not just about the Guardian materials, you know.
could have just flown up there to be perfectly honest would have been easier wouldn't it Tis but a tourist beacon. Not that we'll find anything up there, mind you. It's just nice to go up there and say, yeah, we've done it for completeness. So we got four Guardian Relics so far. In the ship's cargo hold. And then there's always the old malarkey if you're going to do the other relics, the unclassified relics, by, whereby you put a guardian relic into the Thargoid machine and transmogify or transmute them into something else. That's up to you. I've got some on the carrier. But, like, I've got this funny feeling. <clears throat> when I say funny feeling, it's not very funny, but I've just got a feeling. Commanders are going to be rushing out to get these paint jobs. And then they're going to say, right, supply a hundred Guardian Relics to get this module. i just got a feeling it's going to happen. <clears throat> and another thing. Why are they putting stuff like this? All the way up here. It's like I'm on a Tibetan, vo T Tibetan journey for enlightenment all the way up this mountain. bring the ship to us because we're not silly well we are silly but like you know look at this traveled we have far and wide Yeah, the Steam download cache might be a thing. And here, effectively two and a half kilometers away from where the actual ruins are, we have a tourist beacon. There it is. Look at that. Hardly worth the journey, but just to say, yeah, you know, we've been here and done it. Mordrin, exactly. Lasers to the face. That's what it's all about. At least the ship's turned up over there. That's something. Um, right. have it right <clears throat> just get back on to what we were doing I think there's the ship ram towers found a way to counteract the proteus effect fish sticks how's it going um don't know do you reckon we can see everyone going back to hip 
whatever it was, 16744457B, or no one's really bothered with that. That could be the answer. It could be the answer. Well, there's a whole planet there, right? Now, what's, what funky stuff could be going on? Imagine the Proteus effect. All the people who've been released from those pods find themselves drawn to the Proteus effect planet. Right? And you've just got to go in and clear them out. That'd be cool. Who knows? Could be, couldn't it? Truth of the matter is, it's all supposition. It's all conjecture. Nobody knows. No one's got a clue. that big patch of things over there. Yes, we've got it's just rocks. They're just rocks, aren't they? Just rocks we're picking up on. Well, Death Star it. That's what you want to do, isn't it? No more Proteus. Job done. So we've got four. Ooh, I hear you say. Four whole things. Yeah, four whole things indeed. And like I say, with this one, I just imagine there being, you know, this area being some sort of a lake. You know, I just I just think I just think there would be. It looks like there should be a lake here. That's, that's just what I'm thinking. The sights go, you know, orbs and urns and all the rest of it. Nothing, is there? Well, nothing that I can see. Let's get a land on. You just see salvation, super bruh. 07, by the way. Um, just chilling. I don't think we've heard the last of him. I don't think it's we've heard the last of him at all. I think, you know, the resurgence of salvation's going to happen. There was no way he was just going to check out like that. No way. Deployed. Yeah, there's always a resurgence of the baddie, isn't there? You're right there, Simon. There always is. A 
Everyone needs a baddie. I mean, are we going to see a different type of relic? We've got a blue, we've got a green. Are we going to see something a bit different? Another one? I don't know. Are you going to give him all these relics? And he's going to say, ah, yeah, well, if you, once you give me all these relics, I've now completed my research. Now give me some more and I'll give you a yellow relic. Just don't know, do you? Loads could happen. I mean, it's one we found in the ground. Let's go get him. I'm surprised they haven't done more with the Guardian satellites. They're a great big in game set piece, aren't they? You know, I reckon something's needed there. Get people going back out to them. Commander Regit. Seven. Oh, I've crashed. I mean, the new Guardian sites way over past the Witch Head. I mean, they would have been good for this sort of thing. I mean, there's nothing else, you know, to gather here other than relics. Which is what we're here for, I suppose. Not fill your, your cargo ship with all the other stuff. Could be module blueprints to get as well, I suppose. Might be worthwhile going and doing some of that. Done that one, done that one, done that one. Let's go over here. No, I, I tried flying over them. I didn't see them because that would be quite easy. Just shoot them with the gun and then, you know, pick all the stuff up with the... Um... With the limpets. At least they haven't on this site. Bit of a boring site, this though, isn't it? Let's face it. I haven't, uh, haven't picked the most interesting site. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. There's one net.
bit of data data. I think I've got that one. Oh, Epsilon. Cool. Anything else here I need to pick up? Doesn't look like cargo hold is full. There, there is a guardian orb. There's me saying there's no crap around. Um, it's crap everywhere. Perhaps we'll fly up, launch some limpets, see what happens. We'll do it for science. That's always a good excuse. Providing I can stop crashing. Yeah. I think you've got to be like 800 meters away for the limpets to do their thing. That's the, that's, that's the problem. Well, it's not a problem. That's just the issue. You know. Let's have a go. Let's, let's see what we can do here. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's um, board the ship. Do a bit of science like, you know. Because we got eight. Now. They can be commanders who are putting in bloody tons of it. Gear so there we go in. So we're going to go up a bit. Fire a collector off. Let's see where where where's it going? Thanks for the sub. All right, here he goes. Who was that? Ian Stewart. Oh seven, Ian. Thanks for the subscribe. Off it goes. It's like, what is it going to come back with? And they've put this feature in for a reason. Okay, I think it's got something. It's coming back with something. Urn or a tablet or a casket or something like that. Who knows? Out he goes again. Look, where's he going now? Bud Trooper 07. Have you got something like Norton that's preventing it from running, Mike? It's doing something down there. Is it getting brighter? It's having a think about it. Oh, it's coming back. Commander Regit, thank you. Because I did indeed pack missiles, just on the off chance. I could uh, fly around, and then, you know, these, these pillars would come up. We'll go over there. And see what pillars are going on. Because what's it picking up so far? There's going to be all sorts of totems, relics, tablets. You know, you, you, you name it, it's going to be there. I mean, might as well. You never know. It's out doing its thing.
Yeah, so it's not going to be what you call one of these exciting streams today. It's more of, well, this is this is the grind, isn't it? Hmm. Try a reinstall, Mike. What do you got to lose at this at this at this point? Back up your key bindings and away you go. Let's take a quick look at the cannon site. Um Guardian structures. I mean, we're not getting any beef here. This is the easy way of doing it, I suppose. But like... We could see. So I've got the cannon spreadsheet up on on the other screen. How far is that? Ah, oh, another five hundred jumps all the way over there. Like you know, it's so like we're here, which is not so bad. Um, what about this coal coal sector? Same area. So, you know, go, in, go into the ruins like what I am at the moment. Um, not the most exciting, but then again, wasn't that far away either. Good 500 light years away, some of them. So, you know, it's... One of those things, I suppose, really. We got here. Four hundred and eighty three, right there. So where's everybody else at then, in regards to their sites? Because you know, if you, if you look where the bulk of it is, and I'm here, perhaps the closest one, there's kind of, you know, it's not bad, is it? There's nothing else to shoot. We could do AX, can we? Yeah. Be a bit better, wouldn't it? Let's um do some do something for science, yeah. So you can see the sites that have erupted. I'm pretty sure by flying over them, nothing pops up. Collector limit expired. Which is unfortunate, because that would be quite easy. Or easier, wouldn't it? 
because we can do the experiment with this. What we'll do is we'll go here. Right, we'll land. We know there's one right there. Right. Let's come out. <coughs> and then we'll do a bit of a continue. I clicked the wrong button. I'm going to get absolutely owned here. Ancient ruins. Brilliant. Um, yeah. Right, what were we doing? We, we were doing something for science. So we know there's one right in front, isn't there? Right about here. There's one. And I'm pretty sure you have to walk around it. See, it's right about here. Nothing pops up. So you kind of got to do it the hard way. Shoot at the ground. Yep. Doesn't seem like it wants to do anything, unfortunately. But we are able to, by the look of it, pick up all of the associated Guardian rubbish. But we have got eight relics. SRV survey app. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to have a nose at that. I will write it down. Right. Why aren't we moving? Just like that, is it? Okay. Let's go backwards then. Let's go, go, go. We just copy that link. Have a look there. Good bit of GitHub. Okay, survey app. On the way browse near the area of planets, a few minutes function. Organic scan to Guardian sites. Right, okay, brilliant. Installation. Through the app store. Okay. The app store. Get. Open. Take a look at this. See, we're doing this so you don't have to. Or perhaps because you should. All right, let's download him from the App Store. Uh, 
Uh, right. Still downloading. It's taking its time. Um, let's see. There we go. Microsoft's actually woken itself up. 70 meg. We're installing it. Okay. Let's run it. I'm running it. Brilliant. Okay, then. Um, let's see if you can take a look at, right. Let me add a source so you can see what I'm seeing. <laughs> Window capture, add a source, add a source window that one see that there quite good isn't it Keats 07 can you see that in the top left hand corner of the, of the thing Um, and then there's also window capture, there's this. So it's, it's doing, it's doing something. I mean, I'm seeing something slightly different. Um... Settings. Yeah, what you're seeing there, this, I'm not, oh, I am, I'm seeing it up here at the top, middle of my, of my thing. Let's have, let's have a look. Let's drive around, see what happens. Here we go. Where did this come from? Oh, look, there it is. It's just popped up. Well, that broke it completely, didn't it? Um, we get round the corner. Not sure we even picked that up, to be perfectly honest. It's odd, isn't it? It should show a map of the Guardian site in a minute. Um, I could use collector limpets on it. What have we got here? That one. That one.
Interesting. Not entirely sure how the hell that works, to be perfectly honest with you. Try I can no, I've tried using collector limpets, it won't it won't do it. And I've just been across that one particular area. Ancient relic over there, okay. Oh, the one that's stuck in the ground? Yeah, I'll, I'll take off in a minute and um, we'll see. There's one right there. Like. Come on, get out of the way. So far, I've not seen no map has popped up other than that little that little menu. So I don't know. Might just be just to drive around, pick him up that way. Toggle cockpit mode once. Okay. Analysis mode. Ah, ooh, look at that. Something has turned up, but you can't see it. Um. Can I do that? Cancel. Yeah. Screen capture. Can you see it now? It's over there in the, in the corner, look. Can you see it? Just a little overlay. I think it needs. Oh, it's drawn something on the screen. It's drawn something on the screen. Yeah, mark spot so I can line up and orient it on the map. See if we can find that then. So, where are we? That's what it wants to see. we can't see a bloody thing that's got it is that gonna be it I don't know 
course, you can't see much either. You can see about as what I can see. I'm going to head to the ship and have a look. Yeah, my frame rate has, because I'm, I'm sharing a screen as opposed to capturing the game. There you go. It should be better now. But then again, you can't see what I'm seeing, so... So a frame rate should be alright now, so I'm not sending I'm not sending the screen twice down the pipe, so There are 12, it probably is 12 relics here. I haven't lined up with it yet. Drive assist off. See if we can do it from the air. So I know where it wants to be. Because that's, that's it. There. We've got that circle of one there, and then there's another one there. So, which one's it on about? Um, Align with this buttress. Now... I think it's asking me... Eh. Well, well, we'll have a go. We'll have... We'll, we'll see. To be fair, none of this looks exactly as it says there. Okay, and it says toggle cockpit mode twice. I don't know. Oh, seven gray magic. Yeah, as far as I know, this is this is this is wrong. Right, I've got a map on the screen now. One of 12 relics is what it's saying. Well, let's see. I think, right, what I'm going to do is I will stop the game capture, right? And let you see the screen. Right, so what we're going to do, you see it on the left hand side, that's what it does. 
Greetings to the islands from Moscow. Greetings, Bovkin. 07. Are you getting 07? Is an 07. The 07s aren't working now for some reason. I'll have to put that screen capture all the way down the bottom so the 07s start working. How's that? So th that should work now. Hey, you've got an 07. Right, okay. Um, unsuitable terrain. Well, we knew this. We're going to... There we go. Get on the deck. Get on the deck. Right. That's where I think it is. Let's, um... Well, let's just see, shall we? Let's just see. We do this so you don't have to. Yeah, I have the map when I'm flying. Come on. What's it doing? Is on. Cargo scoop deployed. Right, let's go. Alright, let's go the other way. Come on! Alright, so the little map I've got there. According to this. Well, to be fair, I haven't got a bloody clue what's going on. I think it's all down. It's all down to have you lined it up correctly, which I reckon is a no. It certainly doesn't look like I have, does it? Interesting. Don't know. It's gonna it's gonna take a bit of messing about, you're right. Perhaps this is not the best map to try this on. What I'm gonna do is is we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that and then we're gonna and then we're gonna we're gonna put the game capture back on because it's a bit it's a bit mental, right? Um, I'm not entirely sure it's working properly. Or I've got it configured properly. Who knows? Oh yeah, I can close it and try and rerun it again. It's gonna... Yeah, I got that one. Cool. Let's see, according to this, there's one there. Oh, there's something there. We'll have a look. I'm not entirely sure there is. I think it's giving me a bit of beef, to be perfectly honest with you, so we're going to get rid of it. <clears throat> um, right, let's uh, refresh that. It's a good idea, I think. Deployed. 
Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff on it as well. It's, um... I think it's a good idea. That's the beacon. I think some of the other sites are generally better. I think it's like it's got alpha and beta sites as well, see? So I think that's that's kind of what it does. So you select which one it when it which one you think it is. Who knows? I'm gonna have to read up on it. It's a great idea for an app. It might work better at one of the other sites. I think we'll change sites. We'll go to one with a bit of pew on it. Go up there and do something funky with the thrusters now, aren't I? Look at this. That's how you do it. Well, like I say, I think it's a, it's, it's a good idea. Um, we're going to have to mess around with it, see if we can get it working. Yeah, they got maps everywhere, haven't they, Canon? But you go to one of the, um, not a site like this, another site, you know, where the Sentinels are, then, um, you're going to get five there. Easy. And there's, and there's something to do. That might be the way forward. drive for toffee today. There's no easy way of doing it. And then you think this is hard. Oh, for crying out loud. What is wrong here? Got to go in through the front. So we're going to try a different site. Um, I'm going to pop on over to... Drive assist off. Um, something closer. What we got? So I'm near. That's 600 the other way. They're all quite a way away. Where's the nearest site? Just pop there. Let's have a look. One carrier jump. That's where we'll go. We'll get back to the carrier and uh, jump it over.
Clive, 07. Line to the escape vector. There we go. Right, where's the carrier? There it is, directly behind us. Oh, dear me. Um, so I need something that's not too far away from the star, obviously. Because... Um, because that would make a lot of sense. Sixty-eight thousand light seconds. Where are you two, Simon? You're the same one as me. Uh, where is that? Five hundred. So yeah, we could just pop it in one of those. <coughs> let's get across. Let's get over. Hip three six six zero one. Yeah. get the carrier on the go open the map looks like I'm going somewhere else <clears throat> 24 minutes for a jump look at that Everyone's jumping their carriers to get this done. I know. I think I jumped in 15. Which is a bit of a pain. Has to be said. <clears throat> That might be a bit easier. Oh, 
But I think just putting him at least one into this community goal, then if there's any further sort of like follow-on effects, you'll get the messages. I'm not really that bothered about the the paint jobs, to be honest. See, I've got quite a few as it is. Um, so what are people saying? Yeah, the story. People want the story. That's, that's the thing. People want the story here. Um, where the hell am I going? I'm going to D11102, apparently, where I'm going. Christ knows, Christ knows where. In fact, Let's try somewhere else. So Stormlink says Planet B3, C23-4. The hell is that? Okay, so let's go... There then. We're still in cool down. It should have stopped cooling down by now. I've got tritium. We'll go there. Brilliant. We'll jump there. Fab. We'll disembark. 21 minute, 26 minute wait. That's absolutely crazy. Now what the hell are we going to talk about for 26 minutes while it, it, it sorts? I could probably jump it. So what did you all think of my 20 things you need to know about fleet carriers video then?
I actually mention this. Fleet carrier time. Update 18. Mid-February, perhaps. End of February. That's when I think. I mean, look at this. Brilliant. We just really just don't know, do we? 24 minutes for a jump. And they knew this was going to happen. Exactly. I'm just going to do my fatherly duties and get the washing in because it seems that nobody else can be bothered to get the washing in. Uh, we're going to do a quick intermission. All right.
Are we there yet? <clears throat> Because it doesn't look like, does it? Yes, folks, we are still 18 minutes waiting for the jump. Oh, no, it'll cup of soup. Cold cup of coffee. No, same old thing. You know, there's five people in that house in there. And yeah, I'm the only one who can take the washing in. Pasty Giraffe 07. What this is... What normally happens is that if you're a part of these Ramtar or Palin community goals, that then leads you on to another another mission in the future. So what we typically do is we, we at least drop one off so you qualify. However, you get a chieftain, I think it's a chieftain, paint job. And then for the other one, you get a Corvette paint job. Top 75%, I think, on one, and it's just like top 50 on the other. I think that's right. Uh, but it's all about pay my crew more. If that was an option to make them jump better, I, you know, I would. Um, because to be fair, this is shocking. But we all know, we all know. This is Frontier and their servers. We all know it is. Gonna spend half our life jumping there and half our life jumping back. So I'm not gonna actually go for the paint jobs. I'm just gonna drop one or two off. That sort of thing. Do you know what, Simon? You're right. If it was a dead game, right, you'd be jumping in two minutes. So it does make you wonder, doesn't it? And the fleet carrier video, that had something like 1,400 hits. There's still people tickling along with it, to be fair. Um, where are we? Which again is interesting. But like you say, if it was a dead game, then no one would be watching it, would they? Uh, where's my fleet carrier one? content um, 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 um will it let me post the link on my own stream all right Take a look at that, everyone, if you haven't already seen it. Well, I mean, you know, servers cost the money, don't they? Right? We all know they cost the money. Look at my red... Look at my ruby red chairs. What's happened there? So many other things they could do. So many other things they could do. Is my happy marine just waiting there? Yeah, so it must be a really popular community goal. I think people want people want more modules. They want more weapons. You know, that's the thing. That's what they want. 
to what I want. To be fair, I need. We it needs. It does need a bit of a breath of fresh air. I th I think we can all. You know, I think we can all recognise it. It something else needs to happen now, right? Um. Are people getting some atrophy with the Thargoid War? I think perhaps they are. Um, not because it's boring, just that I think some people... Some people just want to do something else. Combat might not be their... AX combat might not be their thing. That's the thing, see? I quite enjoyed playing Star Trek Online. Um, I really enjoyed that, to be honest with you. It's quite nice. Well, f fish sticks. You must be the you must be the uber lord of it. I mean, with the amount of pods that you had last year, that was amazing. Uh, last week, that was amazing. If there's a community goal to collect those pods and rescue people, we're all coming with you. I mean, the AX combat. I mean, and I see you. I see you there now. Um, storm links here's the thing there's a big grind for the guardian weapons and then the spire sites turned around and made the guardian weapons somewhat um, redundant in some cases yet we proved last week doing the rescue missions guardian weapons you know, the Gauss cannons I had, Shad cannons, Plasma cannons, all those Guardian weapons there, in certain environments, still pack a punch and damage the Thargoids. So, where are we going with this? It's only those areas that have the Proteus wave, the Proteus effect. So, the Proteus Ground Zero site, the Spire site. If you want to go after Orthorus, is, 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 in the wild, which, why would you want to now when you can just go and blow the living daylights out of them at a spire site? <sighs> Guardians are still a viable weapon. They're the, they're, that's the only places where the Guardian sites aren't working. Exactly. Uh, and it's, it's something new to do, isn't it? It's like this kind of gameplay. It's not what you call particularly rip-roaring. It isn't. You know, let's face it, it is not. But, if you want the game narrative to progress and do your funky thing, then, then it's a necessary evil. That's the thing. That, that, that's the thing all about it. Personally, I think Elite needs to bring in a new ship. At least one ship every 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 six months or one a year, and I think there has to be a slew of modules. Well, that's it, isn't it, Simon? It's like the last time I did some Guardian stuff. I think was about six months ago. So, so there you go. Twice a year, see the Guardian sites, do a bit of mining, spire sites rescue missions then the thargoids are going to go and attack a station and after they've attacked the station then you've got the the combat zones then you know some internal politics com community zone there's always something going on to do i mean we're what 20th of january now 
There's a server update, server side update. We've all been talking about update 18. It's, um, it's happening, you know, everyone's very quick to criticize, I think. And sometimes it's easier to moan than be constructive. We all, I think we all try and be constructive here on this stream. I think we do. And I think that's one of the reasons, you know, why we're still playing it. That's what I think anyway. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, some of the comments on the fleet carrier stuff. Let's have a nose through some of those comments oh, I had. Um, and they were good. They were good constructive comments. You know, we we had we had loads. We had loads of comments. Um, oh yeah, oh definitely. I mean, there's an. It's nice to have a wish list, and we do it ourselves, don't we? You know, we were talking about it last week. But are they really going to do it? I think you have the right idea of what can be done with in-game assets. You know, people are viewing fleet carriers still now. Yeah, they're expensive, but it's an in-game necessity. Um, you know, people using their fleet carriers go out and get some Vista genomics data. Great. The problem is, is that FDEV are under no obligation to listen to anybody with their ideas. They'll do their own thing, like you say. Oh, yeah, exactly. If, if you say, well, I'm not going to play it then. Well, if you're not going to play it, then it's never going to get any better. The more people who play it, right, the more people who spend money on ARCs, the more people who upgrade their PCs, move from console and do Odyssey... That's, that's the more people, you know, they, they're going to view Elite as a worthy investment and invest in it. DJ Burp, 07 Commander, we're all doing okay. It's... Well, Jay Hesh, 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 hope I was pronouncing that right. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying when you ship a year is aiming too low. But it's been two years since we had a new ship anyway, so, you know. Although we did have an SRV, so that's not so bad. Yeah. Well, and if players leave and, you know, what, what, they gonna, what, they, what are people going to play? They're going to play Star Citizen. Well, good luck there, because your progress is wiped every update. No Man's Sky. I played that when I first had it. Yeah, very good. Nice. Completed it. They're still updating it. Um, good. That's what I say. I actually thought of going back to it and having a go. And I don't think I've got it in me. They are already getting the five minute warning. Get to the command deck area. It kind of is. There's so much in there. But I think the question there was, was that, well, if No Man's Sky can do it, why can't Elite Dangerous? And that's a valid point, I think. I think it's a really valid point. A lot of people are here and doing this community goal. 
Um, in fact, so now now we're sat in. We can't do anything. We're just we're kind of just here, aren't we? Sat there, twiddling our proverbial thumbs. It's like, really, we want to be in there, right? You want to have a crew member sat there. You want a tactical station, right? As far as bridges go, I mean, it's kind of all right, isn't it? Thing is, you can't Brit, you can't please all people all of the time. Well, exactly, you know. Um, and bugs, unfortunately, are a, necess a necessary evil of game progression and development. No matter how hard um, people try different systems, different hardware, are always going to give a problem. I mean, Odyssey, case in point, when that came out, ran like a dog. The betas, or the alphas that ran, I thought, ran better than what the actual final release was. I think they're pretty good. And, and if there are problems, then, you know, there's a patch within a week. You know, they're on it. One minute forty one. Ooh, look at that carrier jump. Well, yeah, do you know what? Perhaps there should be a customization. A bridge builder might be something. For your fleet carrier. Using in game assets, where'd you where'd you want your chair? There's there's loads of things you could say. Ooh, I want that. Ooh, I want this. Ooh, I want that. Someone's still got to go away and program it. Draco, 07, and welcome. Happy Saturday. The frame shift drive, everybody, is powering. Is there an app for fleet carrier management? Well, there's, there's Spanch that helps you plot jumps. But uh, other than that, that's it. So we've got 29 seconds. Planetary player bases, I think, is a good thing to have. Here we go. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, the auto jumping thing. Um, I think we were talking about that the other day, weren't we? It's sort of like... I reckon that that would get your account banned. It's a bit like some of these shader injectors as well. Sit between you and the game. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, consumable aspect. You might want trees in your corridors, for example. Nice potted plant. Just don't know, do you? I think we've arrived. I think we've arrived. We've arrived. You may now leave your seat. Oh, well, thank you very much. Good job, team.
More should be made out of that carrier ready room. Perhaps a list of your permits on the wall. Um, artifacts like Thargoid carcasses or Guardian relic, Guardian totems. Perhaps you could have a little museum, right? On your fleet carrier. During my research for that video, there's about 3,000 fleet carriers registered on Inara. Well, yeah, you know, the rays. Bottles of shin Shinatarian, you know, water or whatever it is. That could be semming, couldn't it? Exactly. Oh, there's, th there's thousands of, of players. But like, how many people are playing right now? How many people are? How many people are on Steam right now? I bet it surprised you. Right, what have we got? Of course, it's not going to be here, is it? We're going to the galaxy map. We want to go there. Drive Ice Tooth, 07. Steve Shaw, 07. Ready to engage. Yes, we're doing the community goal. Well, yeah. And to answer what you're saying there, Steve. Yeah, I mean, you know, is it the fact that Frontier are currently going through a real? Um, you know, and I, and I watched Drew's. Drew's stream. Was it Drew or was it? No, it wasn't Drew. It was Burpit. And, or one of them. Some, someone was, no, no, it was Drew. And he was going on about the financial aspects of things uh, and what Frontier are going to be concentrating on. And, you know, very good. Um, ugh. What am I doing? Simon, is it there? B2. Don't know. Yes, brilliant. We're off. Um... And it's like, oh, we're going to be doing, you know, games like Planet Coaster, Jurassic World. Okay, great. Brilliant. But they've also stated, you know, and they didn't name Elite Dangerous by name, but they're committed to it, at least until 2026. At least, and if not beyond. The only way to, the only way um, is, is to play the game. That is the only way. People boycotting it is not going to get anything then. That is going to be a long old poke home. That is DJ Burp. It is. Oh, but I, I totally agree with what other people are saying as well. Is that, you know, needs a bit of a breath of fresh air now. Okay. Paid content. And by that, I don't just mean cosmetics and arcs. So that's one way. Of, of doing it. 
I mean, well, you know. Open up some systems. Make them paid systems. Make them a little gold mine. Pay to play? Eh, kind of. Base game's, what, 10 years old now? This year? Um, if you include the Kickstarter. Perhaps that's... You pay for a story-driven narrative. I'd pay for it. I love the game. I think it's great. Steve, sorry to hear about that, mate. Um, I know, life, life gets in the way. It really does. I've got two children going skiing in March. That's hit me in the po in the pocket. And then, in the wise wisdom of the school they go to, and you want to be a good parent, right? Don't you? You want to be a good parent. They s a week before Christmas or Christmas week, my daughter comes back and says, "Dad, God tell you, um, there's 30 places on a trip to Euro Disney." next November, but they want paying a down payment of 150 quid by the 10th of January. And you're like, come on. Now, a week before Christmas, what's going to happen there? Let me tell you. What's going to happen there? Kids are not going to remember what you get them for Christmas. What they're going to remember is that you said no to a trip to Disney. That is what they're going to remember. Surface scan complete. Gunny 89, 07. I, I wouldn't be worried. I really wouldn't be worried. Um, to be fair, I think it'll go on for a while. Exactly, Mike. You remember, never went to Disney. Never went to Disney. And skiing is not... I know it's not cheap. It was £1,200 per child. And they go by bus, right? Um, and it's the one of the Easter weeks. Or just before, or whenever, whenever it is, it's when they're going, and um, so that includes getting there, your food while you're there, and we all know it's going to be slop, right? Doesn't include your, include your ski hire, not your ski boot or your ski clothes hire. I suppose COVID's kind of, you know, put a put a kibosh on that. But like, okay, off we went. We went looking for ski stuff and all of it, the gloves. I managed to get gloves online and goggles online and all the rest of it. And the stuff we've got, the kids look absolutely fantastic. It was nothing like that in my day. It was great. But my God, they had that for Christmas. And then for Disney, well, you know, it is an opportunity to go to America from the UK these days for a family of four. And to do, say, Universal and the perks is about 20 grand. Sort of all in. Because you got to, you know, you want to go there, you want to make the most of it, don't you? Right? And that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Um, I mean, the only thing I wanted to go and see was the Star Wars land at MGM. Or whatever it's called these days. And I was fortunate to go with work two years ago. Not specific. I, I was in Florida. So I went there. Because why wouldn't you? Uh, so that's saved. So tick off my bucket list. But of course, the kids want to go and want to go with their friends. So it's... Life is tough. 
Narco, you went in the 90s. Well, the last time I went was the 90s. Late 90s, about 1999, 2000, that sort of stuff. It was more about that sort of time. With She Who Shall Not Be Named. That was my ex-wife. And I haven't been back since, because of the cost. I mean, I've been back and forth the States with work, but not to Florida. But, um, you know, it's expensive. It's really expensive. Steve Shop, Butlins. Some of the best holidays I've had have been at Butlins. Good old holiday camp. Right, so we can just pick some stuff up, stuff up now, right? Let's see what's going to go on here. What's going to happen with this limpet? Now, we know full well there's stuff to shoot down there and everything. There's also stuff that this might not be able to pick up because it's covered in rock. It's got something, it's bringing it back. This is going to be your tablets. This is going to be your urns. It's going to be your orbs. So great. And we know around the corners, there's about four or five items from re relics you could pick up here. Plus, there's the old messing about. You take one of those relics, pop it in the ground, you can get a... You can get a great um, blueprint. You just managed to nuke all three relics. Commander YNWA. Well, exactly. So what are we saying here now? Um, are we using missiles to wake him up or what? <laughs> DJ <Pup. laughs> This was a family show. Um, <laughs> I can believe it. A multi-missile? Yeah, well, they haven't erupted yet. Or is, is, is that going to be it, like? Are they already erupting? I don't think so. Collector limpet expired. Oh no, collector limpet. Never mind. Let's get let's get down, see what let's get down, see what beef says. Because we know there's stuff around here. Nothing has erupted yet. Because there's normally, they're normally around you somewhere, but I think you've got to trundle around on foot.
We're looking to park the ship somewhere. I think we've got a lot of, a lot of it anyway. So You see what's happening? Is he gonna pick anything up? It won't be relics, it'd be other items. Directly at 12 o'clock is where you park. Hmm. Normally I park around about there. Let's just get the SRV out and get on with it. There's no way of cheesing this, I don't think. I think we can do it about... About here. Normally is where I park. And then my point defense can generally cover whatever it is is going on. Let's get on with it, shall we? Deploy. Hop in the ship and scoop. under attack. So far that's four. How many a year? Four, four or five, isn't it? It's quite a few. Oh no, the ship's under attack. Parity is normally stuff around here. Woo! Point defense from the ship is doing good work.
They massacre the relics. Ah, I see. Right, and let's give him some beef. Brilliant. So we've got one, two, three have erupted. For the look of it. More erupting now behind me. Good. Let's get up here. Him, cheeky monkey. Fire all weapons. Yes, we're shooting all things are falling off these sites now. Come on, ship. Point defense. Brilliant. I wasn't even aware. I wasn't even aware that I had shot a pylon to have it charge. I wasn't even aware of that. All I'm after is basically the, the relics. That's right, got a bit of Tony Hawk's going on. Bit of tea urn. The lovely blue puff. So I don't do I really want to be doing. A missile bombing run. And I'm only really here for this lot. That's one, everybody. I think I've got all the Guardian materials I'm going to need. That relic, though. charge too. <laughs> I mean, might as well, isn't it? 
you know, might as well. Just can't remember where they all are on this site. Unless you've been here, you don't know. Because it's daytime, I could get up and have a good look round. You know, that's not a problem. At least now you get to see an awful lot of the detail that's around here. Which is good. So, as it happens then, where are the pylon eruption points? <sighs> One there, we've done that. One, two. Where's the car? Where am I? Dunat, 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 dunat. Like, obviously, they haven't all erupted. We know this. One, two. For the life of me, I can't see it. Aha. Yes, there and there. Right, okay. gonna miss this one but we do get the satisf satis satisfying bit of saying yeah you know you shoot that guardian sentinel
Because you know full well, what's going to happen is, is they're going to say, oh, well, you need, like, a hundred blueprints, Guardian blueprints now. And um, as a result, everyone's going to be back driving around the Guardian sites. Wrong time of the day to be hauling this stuff. 33 minutes a jump. My God. They've got to sort that out, haven't they? Right, now which way is that going to be? Of course it's the wrong way round, isn't it? Is it? Let's get round the other way. Here we go. Right, we'll just drop one off. Not that I really want to drop one off, but I'll we'll drop one off. Shoot these sausages first. It's like, where do these things come from? Out of the ground, I hear you say. Yes. Done. Brilliant. Thanks very much for that. Um, let's see what we got then. I do like this. I think this is one of the best in-game set pieces. If you look really carefully, you can see the relic you've just popped in is actually in there. See, there it is. I think it's fab. Module blueprint. Yeah, the fleet carrier thing is, is kind of a bone of contention for a lot of players to plot longer jumps. There's no reason. And I think, right, you know, as your crew has more experience, then perhaps the length of your jumps should increase. That'd be quite a easy thing to pop in, wouldn't it, into game?
Right. There's our people. I don't think, I don't think. I can hit him like that. I don't know, let's, let's, get, let's get in there. Didn't like it up him lot, does he? And the collision detection they got on him it's working. You can nudge him out the way. Collector limpet expired. Can you run him over for science? Doesn't look like he didn't like it up him though, does he? Under attack. Scoring strikes there. This is big beam lasers. Yeah, you go on. Boom. So there you go. More science we're doing today. Dodging, bobbing, and weaving. Have it. There you go. Let's just go up a bit. What we're going to do, we'll unleash. Let's see what happens. What are we going to get? Are we still there? Look. There'll be all sorts of stuff mucking about, like, you know, bits of sentinel weapon parts and things like that. All depends whether that limpet's going to pick them up. Looking good so far. Just don't know what sort of crap we're going to get back. That sort of stuff. Hey, Pep. How's it going? Nice of you to drop by.
can I? Yeah, he gone. Brilliant. So there's loads of stuff we can pick up. Caskets, urn, limpets, all that sort of stuff. Just do we want to? That's the thing, isn't it? Um, let's recycle it. Perfectly perfect in every way. Well, you're perhaps the only person in January to be saying that. Tailspinner, you've got power but no internet. Well, at least you get in there. I suppose you can at least have a, make a cup of tea. How long were you out power? Was it three or four days you were saying last night? Because that's madness. For a week. No power for a week. I mean, Christ. I just don't know what we'd be doing. It's bad enough when the internet's down, especially if you work from home and all that sort of stuff. You know, it, it that really stings. Just looking to park the ride. Brilliant. Right, um, deploy. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's get out there. I'm not going to pick that many up. I'm going to drop a few off, you know. I think with Palin. Let the thing jump overnight. I'm not going to get precious about it. These things are starting to get on my nerves. They're just more a hindrance. than the real threat, like, you know? Target destroyed. I bet there's nine months there's going to be a high birth rate. I bet there is. Because people have nothing to do. That was... How many COVID babies are there? One moment, callers. I'm being beefed.
Right, sorry about that. <coughs> Where were we? Ah, yes. Guardian stuff. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, we're picking up relics, aren't we? That's what we're doing. Picking up relics. What we're doing, we're just going around, picking up stuff. Driving around really quickly, hoping we're going to get these relics. We're getting shot at, but that's okay. It's what we do. Is that going to fall down or what? And then we're going to drop them off at Ramta. I think tomorrow... I don't know what people are thinking. We'll do something a little bit more, I think, multiplayer orientated. Perhaps we'll do some, you know, AX. What do you think? Under you know, I think that's pretty fair, I think, to do. The, the community goal gods will be satisfied. That's what we want to call them. Uh, I quite honestly couldn't care two hoots about the paint jobs. I'm pretty sure I've got that data. Just that, you know, now I've picked up the best part of like 16 or 20 of these things. Um, I've got about 100 on the carrier, so that's kind of like fair enough, isn't it? Under and that's kind of where we are. I could go for the data, but you know what? I'm bored now. I want to do something else. Like, I don't know, sit in a darkened room. Blow the crap out of these people. Good old point defense. There's a relic right there. That's for that sausage. Just to prove it for science. There's the relic right there. Out goes the limpet. Just don't know if he's going to pick anything up. He's going for it. He's going for it. Is he? He's going for semi. It's just picking up any old guardian crap. Because if I selected that relic down there, it would be all right, wouldn't it? Well, we're going to get a lot of items. Um, beam lasers. Go on, have the beam laser.
yeah, add him to the blacklist. It won't bother with him then. But I want him now. I, wa I want to fill my... I, I just got a feeling they're going to say, well, you need 25 guardian orbs. Cool. I'll say, I've got guardian orbs. Big guardian orbs. And why not? Oh, that one's he's, he's kind of come up to say hello. Hello! Have it. Come on, pick it up. Is he going to go for it? Let's have a look down there. It could be. It could be. He's got it. Finally. This is the turbulence knocking this around, mind you. And there it is. Done. Fan blinking tastic. That's what I say. Like I'm sure it's going to pick up all sorts of other stuff, and like now with these new Olympic controllers, it's 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 a lot easier. There you go. Yes, you can go for the data if you want to. Quite frankly, I can't be bothered. I'm going to make it back to the carrier. Um. To be honest with you, and then we're going to decide where we're going to go. And jump to for tomorrow's stream. Any suggestions? And we can schedule the jump and get on with it. I think it'll take about a week. To jump the carrier? Like you know it's going to take a week to jump the carrier. Near Zanchem. Yeah, I reckon that's probably decent. Get round the planet. You streaming tonight, Pep? She might have already started streaming. Conan in. That's what it's all about.
this, the carrier. Yeah, I just wondered if she was. For the five, add it to the war chest. I, I just know, though, guys and girls, that you're going to dump all your relics off, and then you'll need relics to unlock this module. So I would just drop a few off. It's up to you, however, but that's what I would do. Well, let's see what the jump time is. Let's get on there. Brilliant, brilliant. Transfer. That's not what I want to do. I want to transfer from my inventory. Transfer, transfer all to carrier. Confirm transfer. So I've got only three unclassified relics. So we've got, we've got to up that game a little bit, I would say. Um... That's something else we can do. More unclassified relics there. We got quite a quite a quite a bit. Quite a bit of stuff. Um Guardian stuff. Guardian tablet. Guardian um, keys. Guardian relic. 109. I'm happy. I think I might have enough. Right. Well, carrier services. Let's see what the jump's like, shall we? Let's open the galaxy map. Let's type in Zanchem. Well, that's 700 away. So, where's the Titan? There's the Titan. So, who's that? Okay. We've got any Thargoid controlled... I'm going to have to jump like here. Out of range. And then jump again. That's what I'm going to have to do. It's going to be two jumps. Easy. What we got? 34 minutes. 35 minutes was basically where it was after all the messing about. So I'm not going to agonizingly put you all through that. What I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do is... First off, we're going to see if Pep is streaming. Um, and then we're going to think about a raid. Doesn't look like she is. Nope, she is offline. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, let's see who else is doing something interesting. Who do we know? 
Who does a solid gold? Not many, I really know, to be perfectly honest. There's the Norma Armex. Okay. We'll go for friendship drive charge. 